Sprint car is very basic. It has a big engine in it, two very big wings, and a tube chassis, four shocks, and a, a little fiberglass body. The only thing a sprint car has is what it needs to go fast. I've said that before, right? So uh, big tires and a lot of horsepower and just enough stuff to hold it together. You know, we race on dirt, open wheel, um, some of the most bad machines around, um, all with wings going as fast as you can. The wing creates a huge amount of downforce. Yeah, it'll stick you into the track. Even though we are racing on dirt and it got, you know, 700 plus horsepower, you don't have to lift. You get to the end of the straightaway, you can pretty much still hold it wide open and turn. That, that wing crunches the car down in the ground and makes the car stable when you're going fast. Sprint cars are an amazing deal. You know, they do things that you think they wouldn't be able to, and going wide open on a quarter mile track just uh, seems insane, but that's kind of what Sprint Car is all about. Stag is the size difference between the larger right rear tire and the left rear tire. If you take a paper cup and it's taller on one end and smaller on the other and you lay it on the side and you push it, it's just going to roll around in a circle. So sprint cars are always going left and the stagger is just the balance trying to make the car turn right. So a shorter track you need a little bit more stagger and a bigger track you can run a little less. I'd say shocks are one of the top things other than engines that have really evolved in the past you know, five, ten years. I guess the shock technology has become real important because computers and the way that they can test the shocks on the dyno. Yeah, the, the shocks are kind of the, the key to getting a good balance and a good feel, and they also 80% of what makes the car go fast in different conditions. Um, you're rarely going to have a perfect car, and it's just about being able to adjust. Your mindset, trusting yourself and your ability, I'd say is probably the hardest thing to get over. No driver likes the same feel or sensation. We all like something different. All of the, these different things, torsion bars, shocks, everything, even wings, will give you a different feeling in the car. So basically you have to try and put together a car package that the driver's comfortable in because the more comfortable the driver is, the harder and the better he'll drive it.